Pasha, everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's just awesome. Is that you? Okay, wait. The day of national unity is gone. New Year's Eve is gone. You left the psychologist a long time ago. Dina, am I missing something? Please tell me all of this isn't for the new management. Oh, please. Misha, what kind of fantasy is that? Semyon and I are going out. We're going to the theater. I really envy you. I feel like I was there, it seems, almost a million years ago. The theater. Yet, I love it more than anyone else. Isn't Asenka old enough to go to the theater? You are surviving on children's parties, right? You're mean. I'll leave you. Excuse me. <laughs> what happened to your face? Get in a fight? Foreplay. <clears throat> Careful. Ruslan Evgenyevich will be with us any minute. But I don't think we should wait for him. Let's start the examination. B both of them? <laughs> Why both? You can pick one. For example, me, an experienced resident. Or this resident of five minutes. Do I understand correctly? At 12 weeks, you got your screening results and decided to give birth anyway. I choose him. Why? He doesn't ask stupid questions. Oh, okay. Tatiana, are you taking notes? Yes. The cervix is shortened, mature. Thank you, doctor. For what? For not feeling sorry for me or thinking that I was crazy. Bazanov has some feisty patients. She's a normal lady. Fill this out, please. Normal? She found out early that the baby has Down syndrome and still decided to give birth. She's not 45 years old, Posh. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't believe that if, God forbid, you had such a situation, you wouldn't take her for an abortion. I don't believe it. Let's go. I have a question. What will we do with the head of neonatology? What's his name? Lazarev. I... Th I think it would be strange to leave him in that situation. Probably. Although, on the other hand, none of these deaths were really his fault. Some died in utero, and some were doomed from the start, without getting to his desk. Let's not be too radical, or will the team feel too relaxed? I'll deal with the team somehow. I have another concern. We wouldn't want to set an unnecessary precedent for other clinics. You're absolutely right. We will never know whether he was guilty or not. But five infant deaths for which the neonatologist got nothing? No one will forget. Or am I wrong? You're right, you're right. Just when I wanted to show compassion for a change, I can't. Because of a precedent. Not sleeping? Yes, how can you tell? Oh my god. Divorce sucks. <laughs> I know, I know. Is it because of her?
Good day. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Yuri, may I have a moment? I hear you walking away from all the agreements that the staff had made with the previous head doctor, and I think this is wrong. Take Ruslan Bazanov, for example. There is a clear shortage of qualified obstetricians at the center right now. Still, maybe we will- Inga Evgenievna, I apologize for interrupting you. Uh, don't worry. Of course, I will take your advice. But I dare to remind you, you are not actually my boss. Well, in that case, then you wouldn't mind if I told Natalia Sunshine Vladimirovna about your adventures in Moscow? I wonder which ones? Well, for example, the fact that the entire team at the clinic you ran where you invited her to be the chief physician turned against you. Because over the last year, you brought that clinic to the brink of closure with your decisions. You don't know anything about it. I know you were kicked out of there in disgrace. And you being here now is not the arrival of a prince in shining armor. It's more likely a charity event by your friends. Banishment. Or maybe she'd be more interested in hearing about what's going on in your personal life. What exactly? You didn't leave your wife. She's the one who has found herself a high-ranking suitor with whom, judging by the pictures on social media, she's about to have a wedding. So you still haven't found the strength to leave your family for Natalia and the baby. Mm. Inga, you clearly made a mistake with your choice of profession. You should go into journalism to work for Life Newspaper. I'll be waiting, Yuri Alexevich. Breathe, breathe. Oh, Roslyn Evgenievich, hello. I thought I would give birth with Pavel and I. You, you have a frivolous character, Margarita. Right when I turn away, you have another master. The process has begun. Yes, it started already. I see, you're in labor. Shall I call Dennis? No. Still no contact? He told me everything six months ago. No discussion. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's good. Resting. Come on, breathe. Push, push. Come on. And at the next push, we give what? A new what? Life. Now get again, ready. Again. Let's go push. Push! Come on, come on. Come on, Keep breathe. pushing. Come on. Again, again. That's a girl. Push, come on. Push. You're almost there. Push, there push, push. Last come little on, bit. Come on. come on, push. Come on. Oh, look at that. There you go. Time of birth, 10 0 Is everything okay? Everything's right. You've got a wonderful baby boy. Here you go. Something wrong? No. Perfectly healthy. It happens. Samson. Samson. Yes. What if I had. What if I had killed him? Don't talk like that. It's okay. He's right there. There's someone shouting on your floor. The boss. No, a baby. Hello. Okay, okay. Shh, Everything okay? It's fine, baby. It's okay. He just keeps spitting it out. He won't take the breast. That's how it is all night. He's very restless. Yes, he doesn't eat anything, and this is the second time today. Who's the first? <clears throat> His brother. Shall I call Bakhmetieva? Why? I'll call Andrei Pavlovich. Natalia Vladimirovna. Whoa! <laughs> so it wasn't my imagination. Ruslan Evgenievich, hello. Did you come here because of me? Oh, I've always been struck by your confidence. Ruslan? Olga Leonidovna? Hello there. There's something weird going on with the professor's kids. I need you. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to the lab. Mm. He's hot as a boiling teapot. Yes. I called Andrei Pavlovich. He should be here soon. Baby's hyperactive. It's definitely hyperreflexia, rigidity of the limbs. The brother has the same symptoms, plus seizures and vomiting. We're moving them to ICU. We'll do a clinical workup. Well, there's no sign of raspberry semolina. And if it's not a hemorrhage, what is it? And the labor? It went normally, without any aggressive obstetric protocols. So it's clearly genetics. What if the baby has crab disease? Wait, do you realize how small the probability is? Actually, from the very beginning, this case was very bizarre. We have to rule out intrauterine infection, do an MRI, electroencephalography, send a blood sample to the lab of genetic diseases. It's not worth guessing. Proceed. Under Alexei Nikolovich's supervision. Olga Leonidovna, your proposal is more than tempting. It is an honor for any medical center to become a testing ground for clinical trials of medicines from such a world-renowned pharmaceutical company. But I would like a guarantee that you won't close down within six months, and that we will be able to complete our research. I'm having a day of ultimatums from the lovely ladies. <laughs> I hope my word will be enough for you. Thank you. Spying on me? You're not very good at being inconspicuous. <laughs> what are your plans for tonight? I'm busy. Listen. We're adults. Yes means yes, no means no. I need to buy a dress. It's not easy. <laughs> for a girl with a perfect figure? I need something special. If you say a wedding dress now, I'll shoot myself. <laughs> All right, look. Here's the deal. Let me tell you about the place with the absolutely stunning outfits. If you choose one for yourself, we're having dinner. We'll see. Well, the exit's over there. Neonatology is there. Where do you want to go? Natalia, confirmation came back. The brothers have crab disease. God, I was hoping you were wrong about this. Me too. Hi. Good of you to come. Come on. Dennis? This is Samson. Samson? That's your dad. Is he normal? I'm glad you asked. That's exactly what I wanted to show you. That her husband is still hasn't gone in? He's been staring at the door for an hour. What would you have done? Not now, but then. That the question of the day? I don't know. Do you think he knew in advance? It's impossible to know until it happens. I know. I would have given birth. Of course. 
I mean, you're a saint. I guess that's why you and I have it nice and quiet in bed. Dennis. Why won't you go in? I don't know what to say to her. I've never felt like such a shit in my life. I wasn't born a martyr. What am I supposed to do, hang myself? Listen, visiting hours are almost over. Go inside, please. Crab? What's that? It's a very rare genetic disease, and it's a disorder inherited from both of the parents. What? What? Deficiency of vital enzymes leads to the destruction of the myelin sheaths of nerve fibers. In other words, the body's wiring is left uninsulated and... electricity shorts and fires all over the house. I mean, all over the body. Uh, does it hurt? Excruciatingly. Excruciatingly. Can it be cured? No. But we can extend his life. By how much? By how much? You don't usually live more than two or three years with a disease that is so early and so obvious. To get to that, we need to do an emergency operation on the bone marrow. So I only have two choices. I let him die right away or prolong his life for a couple of years. And he'll be in pain the whole time. Yes. Yes. The operation is not cheap, but the center has quotas. I think there's a chance we could do it for free. What would you do? And what would you do? In essence, it's just delaying the inevitable. I'm against senseless suffering. I would fight. All the way. There are few things I believe in as much as medicine. I've been fortunate to witness some real miracles in my work. A lot can change in two years. New treatments, new drugs. I... I don't know. I don't understand. Consider it, but to save time, we'll get some compatibility tests done. Done. I'm pleased with you. Have you realized? You know, it's not like they sentenced me to prison and then it was overturned, no. I loved him immediately, still there in my belly. Of course it was horrible. Why do I have to go through all of this? How will I cope without my husband? How will my child be able to live in this world? How will he survive in our country where everyone who is a bit different doesn't get accepted in society? And then I realized that he wasn't born in order to be liked by everybody, not my baby, no. May I? Don't go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Margot. I'm not Margot, I'm Rita. Dennis, why don't you come around tomorrow? Rita needs some rest.
Are you gonna run from him all your life? I'll leave. You don't love him at all? I do. As it turns out, that's not the most important thing. I was hoping for a happy ending. Well, not enough happy endings for everyone. Wanna go for a drink? Let's go. There we go. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> awesome. Beauty is a terrible force. What's the name of the play, by the way? I don't know. Something about love. Oi. The main thing is that it's not Medea. No. William Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Oh, you lust. call that something about love? <laughs> yeah, indeed. There's no hope for you. Yes, hi, Semyon. How much? All right, of course. Yeah, okay. I understand. Okay, bye. What is it? Nobody's going anywhere tonight. Marushka has a fever. How high? Way too high. Mm -mm, I don't know. For me, it's better to have a crazy father than men who carry flowers to nowhere or swing between two women. Figaro here, Figaro there. Okay, don't wash off your makeup. You're going to the theater. Why? To sit with my arm around a chair? No thanks. On the catcher and the beast runs. What? Alexander. Yes? Who's your favorite playwright? Probably Chekhov. And among the Englishmen? William Shakespeare, is it? Oh. For that, you get a ticket to the theater. Center seats in the third row. You will accompany this gorgeous madam over here. Right. Better than watching soap operas on TV with your teenage wife. Misha. Misha. Calm down, Mom. Don't soft. You've got ten minutes. Get changed. No. Not here, you idiot. Sorry to disturb you. I can't be disturbed if I don't want to be disturbed. Would you like champagne? No, thank you. Do you like my dresses? Yes, I do. Do you like my brother? I think that it's just between me and him. I'm warning you. I'm sick of seeing two types of women with him. Those who don't see him as the main dish and those who are just average, not even a side dish. Maybe the problem is that he doesn't consider himself the main dish. What's your favorite book? The White Guard. You can't tell? The world is falling apart, but there's a room with a green lampshade. Interesting. Take this one. You can change over there. Thank you. Hmm. It really fits you like a glove. Yeah, I like it. I'll take it. Take it. But I won't give you my brother as easily as this dress. Deal.
Drinking for both of us? Since we're drinking together, let's do it with words. Make a toast. To love my ass. To love my ass. Thirty-four years. Thirty-four. In my brain, I realize that it's time to start thinking about a family, but I just can't imagine it. It's all the same thing, day after day, day after day. But no, we all like to think that we will have things work out differently. Feelings without dulling, sex without a schedule, happiness without borders. I imagine it like this. She's gonna walk in. She'll notice me. She'll like me. And she'll stay the night and won't run away in the morning. And the loneliness will end. Life will begin. And how does it turn out? And in reality, she'll turn out to be an emotionless lock. <laughs> After another hopeless attempt, you lie in the dark, right? There's a question going round in your head. Why was it so cool before without love? Why don't you just show her porn? I'll think about it. In the toilet. Whoa. Whoa. You good? I got you, I got you. I'll clean I'll clean up. You go, you go. Okay. okay. This is where we'll temporarily set up. Alexei Nikolaevich will administer a CTG. In the meantime, you're completely free. You can sit, you can lie down, you can walk, you can stretch, whatever you like. And when the opening reaches five centimeters, we'll give you an epidural. And it won't hurt. No, no chemicals. I have my own remedy. Interesting. Show me something I haven't seen in my life yet. What is that? Is it marijuana? An oh, ordinary touch-me-not. Isn't it a bit late? My grandmother was a witch. She knew how to take away the pain. Put it in boiling water. Okay, I got it. Don't put a spell on me. Oi. Oh, calm down, calm down. Oh. Alexi, ask the nurses to boil some water. Will do. Just need to get the dosage right. Exactly. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's breathe now. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nadia. Nadia, let's watch a film together. I've been recommended an interesting film. But it's for adults. Nadia? Look, let's try to find an Annie who doesn't go on personal growth trainings <coughs> on the days that we actually need her. Then you'll be living in the center. Mariana, what kind of witch rituals are these? Green at the doorstep, green at the doorstep. Lucy, sweep up or the pigeons will fly in. What's going on? Not much, she's an ordinary whimsical girl. First time I've seen this. 
Empty sack. Where's the empty oh, sack? Oh, here we go. We need to put the empty sack here. It's all right, Natalia. She's an ordinary girl. It's her first labor. She's a little bit frightened. That's all. She's not drunk, is she? Maybe we should check her out. Mariana, stop with the theater. Oh. Misha, denometer. I'll get a gurney. What have you got here? I think it's an amniotic fluid embolism. We need to operate. What about the pressure? 70 over 40. Are you sure about the embolism? If you're wrong, the surgery will kill her. I'm sure. Has it stabilized? 100 over 60. Well, over to you, Natalia. Scalpel. Have you been drinking? For courage. <laughs> Natalia, do you realize you've worked a miracle? I mean, in 99 cases out of 100, an amniotic fluid embolism is diagnosed posthumously. Only now, no one will believe it was an embolism. Because she survived? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Well, tell me, what did you want to be when you were a child? A ballerina. <laughs> and what about you? My father. A scientist inventor? Literally. I wanted to be the one to make my mom's face light up when he left us. I didn't see my mom again until seven years later. Meanwhile, turns out he started visiting her again. That's how Nico was born? Hmm. I haven't seen him since I was five. Every time he came to visit, I ran from home. What's his specialty then? He was a fool. He thought he could win a fight with a shadow. Let's dance. Hmm? <sighs> No, no. Don't wake her up. Bye. You and I We stand together Underneath Sky, we are 
Sorry, I passed out. It's okay, it happens. You saved the girl. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. Nishka, oh, come to mom. Here, my sweetie. So why did you run away yesterday? I wasn't that bad, was I? It was very good. <laughs> Ironclad female logic. Shall we do it again? I can't today. It's my dad's birthday. You mean the dress was for him? Uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow I have yoga and a conference call. Oh, and you've got hockey the day after. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll call you. I need strong evidence. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Let's go. Pasha. What? I'm being discharged tomorrow. Dad. You and Mom loved each other, right? Of course. And you were gonna live happily ever after? We lived. Three years happily, twelve after that. What kept you going when it didn't work out? It couldn't just be me. Your mother wasn't angry for more than a couple of hours. When she screwed up, she asked for forgiveness. A rare gift. I can't do that. Did that help? We'll find out. I'll come back at lunch. Doctor, Rosalind, excuse me. I'm going to take a, a few seconds of your time. You know, I searched half the internet, and I haven't found any information about the latest drugs or treatment methods. You certainly know more about it. Tell me, what are the chances of this miracle? Vladislav, I called colleagues, doctors, specialists in experimental drugs. Unfortunately, the chances are slim. Thank you. Excuse me. Misha, I beg you, please sit with Mishka. Only during rounds. He's in neonatology with Andre. Our nanny's off today, Misha. We're gonna get killed in there. Natalia, you're such a big boss. Just make a daycare center for the staff's children. Thank you so much. Uh, now that would be a shameless use of my position for private purposes! Dad, but why else would you need this official position? Stay, of course. I don't have any other work to do. Hi there. I'm here to see you. Who are you? Michael Babiaro. Hopefully your future intern. You're very confident. <laughs> very optimistic. Why did you want to become a doctor? Don't tell me it's because you dream of saving all of humanity. <laughs> no. Just the Nigerian people. But if I'm lucky, I'll switch over to the rest of Africa. Okay. Ksenia. Just go to her. Ksenia. You know, when I heard about the boys, I didn't think about her. I've been thinking about you, how you are, how you feel. I'm sorry.
What should we do, Slav? The results of the compatibility tests are in. Vladislav, you are the perfect donor for both boys. You, Ksenia, unfortunately aren't. Well, that's a great option, right, Slav? Well, I mean, Slav? I'm sorry. I can't agree to this. I don't want to. I don't want to continue their suffering. I think it's inhumane. Excuse me, please. Relzen, can I talk to you for a moment? How can you? When you're his only chance. Why? You'll still have children, and your girlfriend will have ten, but not me. So please, I'm begging, don't take away my only child. It's not... it's not that simple. What do you think? I've read a lot about this disease. He... He won't understand anything. He won't smile. He won't be happy. He'll only feel pain. For a year or two, every minute, every second. But it's his life. You can't decide for him. Go away. I don't want to see you again. Not ever. You convinced him because you just don't understand what it's like to watch your child die and do nothing. Probably because you just don't have any children of your own. I have a medical opinion, and I expressed it or are you the only one here who has the right to a point of view you said earlier that i was a suitable donor i agree when's the operation we're going to start getting you ready. It's a brave thing to do, Paulina. It's not going to be easy for you. Especially without support. This is my child, Natalia. How can I continue living knowing that I didn't do everything I could? Paulina, I didn't tell you straight away. But I can't help but ask. The tests showed us that you're a suitable donor for both of the boys. Ksenia, we found a donor for your son. It's Paulina. And she's agreed to help us. Yes. Breathe, just breathe. Don't wait to let go. Sail your sea. Thank you for the ride. Well, you shouldn't have been left alone in that outfit. They'll steal you just like that. I have to go. My dad doesn't like it when I'm late. Why don't you introduce me? And how do I introduce you? <laughs> uh, well, colleague is too formal. Boyfriend is a bit lightweight. Uh, friend is ambiguous. Fiance? I don't know the name of the village where I was married. I don't remember which station I traveled from, and I have no hope of finding the one I teased so cruelly. My God, my God, said Maria Gavrilovna, grabbing his arm. So it was you, it was you. And you don't recognize me?
Nadia. Yes? I urgently need the analyses of the professor's children. I went to the lab and unfortunately there was nobody there. Can you help me? I would help. It's just that I... No, it's okay. I'll sit with the boy. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. Where's your girlfriend? Finishing her breakfast? I hear you guys don't do well in bed. That must be why she chose to take the night shift, huh? Maybe I should teach her. Hmm? How are you anyway? One on one. Out of the way. Good morning. Morning. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do a restaurant? If you want, I can cook dinner. Do you? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Why aren't you on shift? I warned them. So you sure you don't want me to drive you? Vash, I'm fine. So much for being in lockup. Oh, I'm ready for freedom. I'm just afraid that you might decide to cure me of another ulcer or remove the pressure completely. Oleg, the MRI was fixed. Go to the capsule before you go. Last time, the picture was not of optimal quality. Keep in mind, if you discover one more disease in me, you'll be put on the bed next to me, understand? Am I imagining things from what I'm seeing? Unfortunately not. Hey guys, did you fall asleep in there? What's with the faces? Did you two see a dinosaur? Oleg Viktorovich, indeed there are some changes. We got a new neurologist the other day, Bagarov. Go see him. Bagarov's a psychiatrist, no? Two residencies, two specializations. Al. Look, are you really interested? I don't know, maybe read something more relevant about life, hmm? Well, but the people haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, who do you see yourself as? Hmm? As a 14-year-old noblewoman mm -hmm, that no. was a French? Mm -hmm. So who then? Maybe as a duke who talks to an oak tree. <laughs> no, but you said you haven't read it. Listen, this Russian language is... Husband? <clears throat> he says he's not coming today. Listen, I've already stopped filtering where the truth and the lies are. It's so obvious. Why do you put up with it? I don't know. Well, well, well. Hi, doctor. There was a round and I could not find you in your room. Please proceed to the examination room. And me? You'll be examined later. Oh, okay. Tell me, is there any information about the parents of the triplets? Uh, not yet. When there is, I'll tell you. Let's go, Natalia's waiting. Okay. Aaron, uh... 
I watched the tapes of the world championships in Paris. The way you pulled the barbell in your third attempt in the push-pull, uh, well, it made me believe that people can achieve anything. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, hence, a prize for me personally. <laughs> and a very special thanks for this orange. Uh, this way, Natalia is waiting. Michael, what's your surname? Chamberlainovich. So anything new? Michael Chamberlainovich? The fetal heartbeat is clear, rhythmic. Mm-hmm. No bradycardia? Yes. It's pronounced. The fetus is suffering. The baby? Don't worry. Please, Michael Chamberlainovich listened attentively to the beating of your abdominal aorta, because the fetal heartbeat is much lower. Thank you. Genya, sit down. Let's do an ultrasound. Excuse me, doctor. Come in. Oleg Viktorovich, need some support? What is this? Some kind of family psychotherapy? I think not. Should I wait outside? What do you think? I'll be right here. Here, information about the new interns. Not much so far, that's all there is. Mm, thank you. Uh, Dina Rafalovna, is it true that you are not only the keeper of official information, but also unofficial information? Yuri Alexievich, I consider it unprofessional to say something personal about people who I've been working with a while. In any case, it's not part of my job description. <laughs> What if I ask you to expand it a little bit? Do you want me to resign? Why don't you just say so? No. I'm interested in Inga Lizarova. What, where, when, with whom, and why. Off to my rounds. Think about it. Igor Konstantinovich, let's dispense with the additional analysis and such. I know all these games. Clearly they've examined me head to toe and asked me a thousand questions. MRI showed multiple demyelinating lesions, plus increased tendon reflexes, plus some other minor signs, shoes worn to one side. My diagnosis is multiple sclerosis and a very rapid development of right-sided hemiparesis. So how many years? Till I become a vegetable. Maybe a year, maybe ten. You know it yourself. The earlier it's detected, the faster it progresses. I know. Oleg Viktorovich. Yes? Goodbye. Dad? Oh, look at the mess you've made with radiology. Turns out I'm fresh as a cucumber and healthy as a buffalo. Hup. Grab your bag, call a taxi. Dad, wait, what did he tell you? You've been here a long time and we haven't had a proper conversation. Hi. Hi. How is Germany? It's good. My job and my career. Hmm. And you? I'm running the center. 
<laughs> Who would have thought that a year ago? <sighs> yes, a lot has changed in a year. By the way, Olga, I was actually very surprised that your company started research here. What do you mean? Well, maybe you don't know. Things are quite complicated around here. And you and I both know it will only get worse. I have a different opinion on this. I think we'll take a risk. Olga, listen, why would you risk it? Let me give you a few better and more reliable options. Hmm? Or are you here for Lazarev? Maybe you're here for Pazanov. Have you decided to exchange your comfortable place for the war trenches? I understand. But you should also understand, Ruslan, no one will make you head of department anyway. It's pretty much guaranteed that you'll have less money and status. Why would you want that? If I'm not needed as an obstetrician, I'll leave. Listen, don't be like Batmitjeva. It doesn't suit you. Work quietly in your place. We'll involve you in serious operations anyway, slowly but surely. In the meantime, we'll find a decent reproductologist in your place. Anyway, tomorrow free up the morning and start making your rounds. Like the rest of us mortals. <laughs> Is that a deal? Why are you looking at her like that? Is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. Just a familiar face. I thought I'd seen her somewhere. Why did you suspect preeclampsia? Chest pains. On top of that, during pregnancy, her blood pressure was up to 160 over 90. She says she took adrenal mimetics with no effect. And now? BP 104 over 60. Already administered magnesia relanium. She's close to labor, so I came straight to you. Looks like preeclampsia. Oh, Nikolovich. Okay, sped all the tests. Urine by catheter and uh -huh. an anesthetist. She's close to having convulsions. Uh huh. Michael, you made one forgivable mistake for a newcomer, but then you didn't make a sound for your entire round. Everyone makes mistakes. I look for those who learn quickly from their mistakes. I chose you for your courage and self confidence. If this was your typical performance. No. No. The biological parents of the triplets are dead. But there must be some other relatives. Go find them. Evgenia will give you the contact of a policeman who may help you. The OR is ready. Okay, thank you. Yuri Alexevich, I'm sorry, but we're losing time. Just a moment. Like Paganini. Spider Woman. Spider Woman. That's what they called her as a child. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. And how tall is she? 1.9 meters. Was she always this slim? Yes, since she was little. Is she smart? Yes, she always mocked me for not being as clever. What does she compose, poems or music? She does both. Doesn't work anywhere? Earns nothing and can lie on the sofa for half a year. Frequent bronchitis. Dad was also tall and slim, maybe even a musician. How do you know that? So what do we have here? We have an asthenic physique, hyperplasia of muscular tissues, arachnodactyly kyphoscoliosis, plus an IQ off the top of the scale and an uncontrollable urge to create. If we take all of these symptoms and put them together, we have? Marfan syndrome. Bravo, Natalia Bakmecheva. Which means she has an aortic aneurysm dissection. And in 29 years, this went unnoticed? What if it is eclampsia after all? Didn't you hear? We're starting conservative therapy. Please call a vascular surgeon and a cardiologist for consultation. And urgently. Okay. Yuri Alexievich. Yep. You are not so easy to catch. Ah, maybe I just don't need to be caught. I'm talking about the drug research that Olga started at the center. And? Tell her no. <laughs> Why? 
An institution under investigation cannot possibly make commitments of that nature. The center could be closed before the research is finished, and this will jeopardize the whole of Russian medicine. You know, I believe that Russian medicine will somehow survive. And I, in turn, would like to remind you that your boss has set a task for me to bring the center out of crisis. And if I may have your gracious permission, I'll do as I see fit. Hmm. Maybe Natalia and I will have a word after all, huh? You could try. And maybe I, in turn, will talk to my old friend Gaina and tell him that while he's in there preparing the divorce papers, now, here you are fighting for the success of one charming reproductologist's career and trying to get his new girlfriend thrown out of the center. Tell me, Inga, do you really think this information will not affect your marriage plans? surgeon has given a preliminary opinion that Pavlova does indeed have Marfan syndrome and suspected aortic dissection and dilation. Well done, you've guessed everything. You gave too many clues. Now we just need to get her out of the acute state. Yeah, the slightest physical strain and the aorta will burst. We should do a CT scan along with a contrast agent. Prohibited technique? Do we have a choice? We have to confirm the diagnosis. If you don't mind, of course. I don't mind. What's taking her so long? Can't see the veins. Okay, I'll go calm her down. Otherwise, she'll die and we'll be finished. So? What's up? How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. That's good. So tell me, is Patricia your creative name? No. As funny as it sounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So your musician father chose your name? Mother did. I know, she doesn't look like an intellectual. That's a separate story. I'm sorry. Doctor, please tell me. My baby will have Marfan too, won't it? 50-50 chance. Mm. Lucky me. Well, who's your baby's daddy? The truth is, I don't even know his phone number. Okay, it's ready. Quiet, <clears throat> quiet, take it easy. Gurney, over here, quick! Natalia Vladimirovna. Yes, Michael? Your assignment has been completed. Did you find the relatives of the triplets? Yep. Found both grandparents. They're waiting near your office. You did that really quickly. Well done to you. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't tell me about the phone. I always thought I had nothing in common with my mother. I was even proud of it but I did everything just like her. Party in a random crowd with no one familiar, and suddenly him. Love at first sight? He said at first word. I sang my song there. You know, I always thought I was some kind of Martian. Suddenly my soulmate. He had to go out in the morning, he took my phone, and disappeared and left me with all of this. Doctor, what if I end up not making it? Will you save the baby? Hello. 
Hello. You have one minute. Thank you very much. your illness right away. I should have taken you to the doctor a long, long time ago. I'm so sorry. Mom, <laughs> you don't have to say goodbye to me. I'm not dead yet. You know her? I've seen her before. I just can't remember where. Maybe in the clubs. I used to work as a bartender. Uh-huh. Well, I don't go to clubs. But I feel the same way, like I've seen her somewhere. All right, I'm gonna go. I've got an IV to put in. It's impossible. Excuse me. Since childhood, David has been telling us all, even the smallest details of his life. No, it's impossible. I'm telling you this scammer decided to profit from our grief. The accident was in the news. What does she expect? That we, two old, happy idiots, will sign over the flat to her? I perfectly understand how you're both feeling right now. But please hear me out. In the life of any person, especially a man who has lived his life with a sense of dignity, there may be a situation when he will not be sincere and open even with the people who are closest to him. Mm, we're not suggesting you take our word for it, but you must have some personal belongings of your son, something that belonged to your daughter-in-law. We can do a DNA test and tell you if this is your granddaughter. I don't know. We've had a lot of pain and disappointment in our lives already. Excuse me. And they are so afraid of this pain that they will not give a chance of happiness to them or others. They'll come back. I bet the wife will. What do you think? Patricia, what's wrong? Are you unwell? Help, please. Help, please! Patricia, what's wrong? What's going on? BP, 70 over 40. Prepare the OR. Save my daughter, please! Take the mother away. I don't need a CT, it's a dissection. I'm calling the vascular surgeon. Give it to me. Thanks. Stitches. Done. Well, our work here is done. Colleagues, now it's over to you. Tools.
You're absolutely right. A large section of abdominal aorta is dissected. Start in the endoprothesis. Thank God. We made it in time. Is that her? That's her. Where did you find it? People, the day before yesterday, I met the most extraordinary girl on Earth. I lost her phone. I don't know her name. But I know that she writes poetry, sings songs, and lives in the city on the Neva. Please help me find her. I'm sure it's love. Wow. And exactly nine months ago. It's definitely him. Accidental dad. Well, Michael, you shouldn't be a doctor. You should be a psychic detective. Will you send this to me? Sure. How do you feel, Patricia? I'm feeling okay. Your son doesn't have Marfan syndrome. For you. Please don't look now, I'm a bit embarrassed. Okay. Natalia, do you have a piano anywhere? Will you show me? I have to go home. I don't recognize you. You used to be much more reverent about signs of attention from patients, especially like this. I remember now for some reason how one time the lights went out in the dorm and I couldn't drive away from you, remember? I do. An order came from the city health department to fire your Lazarev. Why wasn't you fired then straight away? With Kashina and Samiradov? I have no idea. It's amazing that you're still trying to influence me with such methods. Natul, stop it. It's not me. It's the city health department. I can't argue with them. You used to be able to argue with any official in this country, if you wanted to. Sure. 
Why did you come back? To the city? No, to the center. Because if it's because of Andrei Lazarev, then I should know about it. Uh, yes, I made it all happen. Lobbied for it, organized it. When I found out that his wife died. What about Bakhmativa? <laughs> what about her? She's Joan of Arc. They have some other kind of happiness. Yeah, to defeat the British and burn alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly not live peacefully at home with a loved man. And now there has to be some kind of a but. <clears throat> but. When you and I met at the conference, I already decided I was going to say no. I kept thinking about how I would arrive, what I would say. I've been replaying the scene over and over again, and then I remembered. All the pain and hopelessness that came every time he showed up. When he showed up? Can you believe it? I was just opening the door. And I knew for sure that in an hour, in two hours, in a day, he'd still be gone. No matter what I did, no matter what I said. He just wouldn't allow himself to be happy. <laughs> then I don't understand all the more. Why'd you come back? Because it's been so long since I just felt good. I remember that time in New York. We were running around the city like two crazy animals. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that this is where I saw my first dawn on the Neva. I remember, of course you did. You know, I've seen many unforgettable sunsets here back in the day. <laughs> yes. It's just scary, Lazarev, how we get along. Yeah. Natalia. I want to ask you a question. There's a man in the water! That's it. Let's pull. A bit more. Oh, no. Just a moment. In general, I did a lot of things. Gymnastics, freestyle wrestling. Mm -hmm. And at 15, we lived side by side with weightlifters at training camps. I see. Did you fall in love with the sport or with the weightlifter? You're a strange doctor, Nikolovich. So, you're more interested in my story than in my diagnosis. Professionally unfit? No, not at all. Thank you very much for persuading me to stay. Mm-hmm. 
Because if a complication happened at home, this would not have been possible. All of my life, I've been told that professional sports will kill my hormones, especially weightlifting or the world championships. Having children isn't even a question. I didn't want to win much. I just really wanted to be close to him, that's all. I see. And I brought you the book I promised you. Yes. Read it at your leisure. <laughs> Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> and who is Nadia, nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world? Mm. <laughs> so we're friends in misery, thank you. Wow. <laughs> thank you. What was that now, huh? Why did he have to die straight away? Hitting on doctors, huh? I see your belly doesn't stop you. You're one to talk. What? What are you mumbling? If I see that redhead again, I swear. He is my doctor. What? Fear is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. I forgot. You've got a whole support group here. Let's go. Let go, it hurts. Edith, you're hurting me. Oh, don't touch me. Who made you who you are now, you dirtbag? Please don't touch huh? me. I ruined my career because of you. Do you understand? Please, please. You're nothing without please, me. Someone. Edic, please. Who made you? A failure into a champion, huh? Please help. Someone is beating a woman. Upstairs, she's my roommate. There. Please don't. Hands off her. What did you say? I said take your hands off her. You're a golden head protector. What are you gonna do to me? What? Are you gonna shake your fat? No! Does he turn you on now? Oh, please. Well, does please. he? Stop! Do you like it? Please stop, please. Another Don't month. anger at the gods. We almost reached the 32nd week. The fact that we've lasted this long after the onset of labor is already fantastic. That's why we don't cry, we give birth. Understand? Come on, darling. Push. You've got this. Push, push, push. Keep going. Come on, come on. You've got this. Push, Keep push. Going. Come on now. Well, there you go. What a good girl. Okay, now we're gonna push and give birth to the baby. Come on, push. Okay. Come on, just a little bit more. Marie, check. Tanya, check. Who's next? Sonia. Sonia, that means wisdom, right? Original Armenian name. Come on. You've got this, you've got this. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Isla. You can do anything. Natalia Vladimirovna. Their parents died, didn't they? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Just a little bit more. Well done. As soon as it's confirmed that they will live, we call the press. Feeling better? And how's Alia? Alia's fine. She gave birth. A full set, like Chekhov's three sisters. Mm. Alexei Nikolovich. Quiet, quiet. 
What are you trying to tell me? That I'm as handsome as Marlon Brando? No, this is all my fault. I've been bowing down to him since I was 15. And he got used to it. He was the one who won it that world championship. I understand, but you're the one who made it. So it's a reason to hate, abuse, and cheat? Do you know what the most frustrating thing is? That you really think it's love. Yeah, this is some kind of thing of Russian woman, you know? Love should be suffering and sacrifice. Oh. Air, you're an amazing woman. Amazing. Amazing, just see it. It's okay. I'll keep the kids. Yuri Alexievich is asking for you, Natalia. The film crew are here. You rest. I'll come back later. Admittedly, I would very much like to imagine what happened was a result of my efforts alone. But no, no. Uh, to be fair, I have to say that this particular decision, a very brave decision, to prolong the pregnancy in order to give life to two more babies, was not mine. That decision was made by head of the OR department, Natalia Vladimirovna Pakmicheva. We took a big risk, a very big one. But once again, Natalia Vladimirovna has proved to me and to all of us that the impossible is possible. I'm very happy. I am proud that our center employs such a talented, unique specialist, Natalia Vladimirovna Pakmicheva. Natalia Vladimirovna, please comment. We wouldn't have succeeded if it hadn't been for their brave mom, who was ready to risk her life to save the children. Everything turned out like the bumblebee, which by all laws of aerodynamics should not fly, but is totally unaware and flies anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's Thank it. You. <laughs> So, you didn't get any trouble at home yesterday for the theater? And you? You know, not me. Ashka didn't even notice that I came home late last night. She was engrossed in an English lesson on uh, Skype. So, you and I had a secret date? <laughs> Lucky us. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe we can do it again sometime? Alexander Anatolovich. I hope you are not making me seriously consider becoming your fifth wife someday. Yeah. Bye then. Bye. You know, I've always appreciated women with a good sense of humor. See you. Natalia Vladimirovna, hi. I was watching the news report. They showed the child, the little girl. She looks just like David as a baby. She has the same eyes, same hair. Can I see the children? Yes, of course. Thank you. Michael? Yes? Please, can you take Miriam Armanovna to the neonatology room? Let's go. You're at the wrong office by mistake? I did make a mistake. When I saw you for the first time back then in the classroom, it kind of hit me. Made a mistake, said to myself, it doesn't mean anything. There are many other girls like that out there. Made a mistake when I left you that night. Made a mistake when I put my car away and let you drive off. I've made many mistakes. And now it's not me, but someone else who gets up at night to my son's cries. That's not your son. 
Natash, please, come on. I know that you had nothing with Bazanov. You ended things, and it took him a long time to put himself back together, and that Lazarev of yours showed up much later. Natashka, I know I've caused you a lot of pain, but it wasn't all pain. Misha is not your son. We have no connection. I have something that I need to confess to you. I stole Mishka's dummy and took it to the lab. Will you tell me the truth or shall I call the lab? He's not your son. Yaroslav Nikolaevich, hi, you well? Right. Wait, are you sure? And it's not a mistake? I see. Mishka's hair so dark. Natalia. Wait. Natalia, where are you going? Oh, shit. Anything you want to tell me, Usain Bolt? Let's go. Let's go. Remember our freshman year? We had a party at uh, Romka and Oksana. Remember how I took you to your place? We were drunk as hell. Remember? Where'd they live? In Chiromsko. That's right, Chiromsko. You were sitting like this and suddenly you ask, does everything in this world have to have such a short shelf life? Even love, do you remember saying that? Like a carton of milk. Look, I don't know what dodgy lab he did his test in, but... But theoretically... Bazanchik, I found out I was pregnant the day after I slept over at your place. How did you find out? Blood test? Ah! Are you watching where you're going? Calm down, calm down. Let's sort this out without calling the police. Okay, sure. I have to get back to the center. I'll get a taxi. Hold on, I'll be quick. Natalia! Should have had the baby at 20. Then it would have been without me. Hello. Hello. Aren't there any other doctors? Uh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with me? What's with your lip? 
Alexei Nikolaevich saved a pregnant patient from a raging husband today. Thank you. Now it's my turn to ask questions. What is your complaint? Severe swelling, pain in the side, BP's 150 over 100. Mm hmm. Which side? Right one. Do what you must, but no ultrasound. Why? It's harmful. Which of the ultrasound myths is bothering you? The baby is afraid of ultrasound, so it turns away? Or that it's unethical because what happens inside your body is intimate. It causes cancer. I have read a lot of international studies. Almost all of them proved it. Glory to the internet. Here you go. Listen, my grandmother, my mom and two sisters died of cancer. Still making fun of me? Lift up your blouse, please. Thank you very much. Uh, it hurts? Of course it does. Uh, now. Yes. Be careful. And here? Y yes. How about here? Yes. Uh, what's there? What's the scar? From appendicitis. I... It's kind of odd. It's normal. All right, let's wait for the test results, okay, Zenya? Let's get a clinical blood test, a coagular gram, expanded biochemistry with transaminases and electrolytes, urine by catheter. It's nothing. Just a rotator cuff injury of the shoulder joint. Does it hurt? Like three ribs smashed to pieces. <laughs> I'm not doing the night shift today. I've got my dad at home. I just didn't want him to be alone after the hospital. Mm, okay. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. <laughs> hey, come here. Come on. Come here. Are you in a hurry? I just don't want your son to see me half-dressed again. Do you think he remembers that? <laughs> he was about eight years old. I will never forget his eyes the way he looked at me. What happened? <sighs> what do you want, hmm? I want you to stay right here with me. I already stayed with you before. We had that before, and already then it was like a bad drama. The humiliation of hiding from your wife, from my husband. And then from your second wife and from my second husband. Oleg, darling, I'm a grandmother. I understand. I'm an idiot. My God, can't believe I went between you and Lidka for six years and then another woman. Have you read this? Many times. Yes, I know. It's your big dream going around the world. Yes, I really want to do that, like that man. But I don't want to walk, not alone. I love you. <sighs> it's funny, of course. It took 30 years to put those three words together. You know what I really want right now? I really want to tell you to drop everything and come with me, but as it turns out, I've had my head x-rayed. The experts have said I have MS. And it's progressing really fast.
so I'm going to be disabled very soon. Although, I realize I shouldn't ask you to brighten up my last few days, so go to your husband. He's a very good man. He's a wonderful man, please. Go, I'm begging you. Go. Please. Lapik Alexandrovna, leukocytes and bacteria in the urine. Alexei Nikolaevich instructed to do more tests to establish the functional activity of the kidneys. Lycocyturia, bacteria? Thoughts? Acute pyelonephritis, asymptomatic bacteriuria. Elevated blood pressure, edema, ocular fundus changes, retinal edema and angiopathy indicate what? Adjunctive preeclampsia. So what do we do? We need to do an emergency delivery. No. We don't understand how critical the kidneys are. And we can't fully assess the fetus. We have to do an ultrasound. I agree. The question is, how do you get her to do it? About the dangers of ultrasound? There was some study that actually showed that pregnant mice got tumors there. But that was after seven hours of pouring ultrasound on them. Understand? I promise that we're going to get it done much faster. Hello. Hi. Elena? Hmm. I want to tell you that pylonephritis has a very unfavorable effect on the pregnancy and on the fetus's life. I just want you to understand the risks for your life and your baby. If we imagine that on one side of the scale, we have a hypothetical harm of ultrasound, on the other side... Is a real risk to her life. Alyonushka. Okay. What is she embarrassed about? It's just a tattoo. On your side, please. Where's the kidney? Uh, Elena, did you know that you don't have a kidney? I had an operation in prison. And nobody said anything. Not what was wrong with me, not what was cut out. Some aspirin and off I went. I thought it was appendicitis. Get a gurney and get the OR ready. Mm. Before allowing a woman with one kidney to become pregnant, doctors usually consider many different factors and circumstances, and they look after such women from the very beginning of the pregnancy. And given that you have one kidney, pylonephritis, early preeclampsia, we need to get the baby out now. Thank God we're at term. Can the baby die? Unfortunately, it could be serious. And I've never met a man like that. He, he wrote letters, like stories in books. Really? The whole, the whole cell was crying, but he won't leave, will he? No, he won't be leaving. 
Alexander Antoliovich? His was. Continue. Thrombombolism? God forbid. Atropine, thiopental, anesthetic. I'm going to intubate now. Zoya, give me the blade. Give me the pipe. Come on, come on. Shin, help me. That's it. Done. Everything is okay. Right, Jen? I think we're good. I'm starting. Tattoos? was young and stupid. No residency, no problem. Lost employment card, it happens. Strange slang, just bad education. What makes you more upset? That she kept silent about her past? That I turned out to be a total fool. And the fact that your wife and son may not survive? Would you like some water? What upsets me the most now is that all I can think about is the fact that these two years, which I thought were the happiest years of my life, turned out to be a complete and utter lie. A cellist and a thief. You could make a film. So much for dating sites. Three stints, seven total years. That's no accident. Ivan, in my experience, I have worked with many ex-prisoners. Returning to prison isn't always the fault of a criminal. After prison, it is very difficult to adapt to normal life, especially for a woman. Husbands don't wait for them. Relatives reject them. Children think they are dead. They go without support, without money. They can't get a job, at best, as a seamstress in an illegal workshop, but the conditions there are as slave-like as in the prison. Are you trying to convince me that she had no other choice? No, she had a choice. It was you. And for you, she quit. She should have said right away. <laughs> Ivan, do you love her? I do. Then forgive her. BP? Saturation? It seems you are stable. Whoa. So it's not thrombombolism. Give it back. Second accident in 15 years. You know, I'm starting to hate your Bakhmetieva. I remember the first one. You flew into a wall at full speed, and then you lied about ice in Moscow. Did Bakhmetieva say something shocking to you then too? No. Then I just saw her for the first time. With Professor. You shouldn't have waited three years in the friend zone. Well, you know, she said love sucks and... Who listens to women anyway? But yeah, I forgot. She's not a woman. She's Batman and Robin in one person. I should have found out about the child at least a year ago, but now I... What's wrong with that? At least it didn't take 18 years. I'm in a new relationship. She's doing very well on that side. 
It's not a good time. Eat. Cheers. Mmm, congratulations. Mmm. <laughs> Stop it. Crockpot. <laughs> it's very good. I fainted right after I spent the night with Bazinov. And you confirmed my pregnancy. Well, so I was wrong. And it turns out that when I went to see Sasha three weeks later, I was really pregnant. But only by Bazinov. What are you worried about? Calm down, Kalmagorov will leave you alone at last. Maybe he'll leave for Moscow. And Ruslan? Ruslan. Oh, please. I think Ruslan is against any kind of commitment at all. He's all about taking things easy. Come on back, Matyva. Don't worry, we'll get through this. What are you doing here? You don't want to go on a date with me, do you? So the date has come to you. <laughs> You're very sweet. But it's not gonna work. Well, if you say the rumors about you and Kolmogorov are not founded, then I'll jump out the window. What's wrong with me? Where's my baby? In intensive care, but don't worry, the operation was successful. Tomorrow you'll be moved into another ward and you'll see your baby. It weighs 300, height 52. Oh, thank God. Oh. Uh, where's Ivan? Ivan? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Oh. Oh. Okay. some porridge lumpy of course <laughs> sure Don't overdo it now. Pity it's the right arm. Can't do operations. Exactly. Listen, you had a friend who can help out with visas, right? Ay, 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 ay. Mm -hmm. Once a day and with milk. And I read your book. And? Do you think I'm going to get mellow and forget about <laughs> your sin? I laughed and cried so much. Been a while since a book did that to me. Oh, come on. I'm not much of a writer. Mm, you seem to have such a rich and full life. Don't you write anymore? No. What is there to write about? I've said everything in the first mm. book. What about fierce husbands or champion slackers, hmm? Thank you and Pavel for taking back your police statements. I'm not justifying Edik, of course, but... It's not for him. Coffee's ready. Thank you.
Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes, I'm on the first floor. By the elevators. <gasps> Watch where you're going. You're the one who's not looking where you're standing. I'm sorry. What are you blabbering about? <gasps> Hello, once again. Come in, please. Talk it over, agree and sign. Now please, come to the place where your wishes come true. Uh, everything happens for the first time? I mean, I, I fell from grace. <laughs> Don't think about the process, think about the future. Do you want me to come with you? Yes, please. For inspiration? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How long are you going to run from me? Did you want something? Don't you think that we have a great topic to talk about? What topic? What if Mishka is my son? I've already told you everything about it. Don't you believe me? I want a paternity test. Doctor, please help. My husband's not well. We haven't done anything. We've only started. Please call two, five, six, eight, nine. It's Bakhmativa. Urgently call a resuscitator to the collection Natasha, room. Natasha, no polls. to Mexico by car, on his own. That's just the beginning, and he's saying that he's not crazy. Maybe he's not lying. How can that be? Hey there. Oh, hi there. He's not making any sense at all. Uh, hold on, Igor Konstantinovich. Doctor, uh, regarding my father, he didn't tell you anything one-on-one, -on -one, did he? Pasha, listen, it's confidential. You know that. I'm sorry for your loss. Laika, forgive me. Who's Lila? That's his ex-wife. Please don't call her. I'll call her later. Please take your sperm. I really want this baby. Take sperm from? You know what I mean. Please. How much weight did you gain during pregnancy? I lost weight, 11 kilos. I checked at the gynecologist on Wednesday. You realize that's not normal. 
Normally, you should have gained about 12 kilos. Sure, you know your norms. You eat corpses sprinkled with flour and then walk around like zombies. Excuse me? We eat biologically natural food. Uh-huh. Vegetarians. Monorotarians. Mm. Any pain in the stomach? Luda? Yeah. Strong pain. When I eat, I get sick. And feel sharp pain. I don't even want to eat anymore. Do I understand you correctly? You're asking us to go and collect the sperm of your dead husband so that we can then inseminate you with it? Yes, that's right. Look, let's not pretend that we're hearing about this for the first time. In the U.S., the laws legalizing such procedures have been in place for years. If permission is given from the relatives, then no problem. You're welcome, as they say. There have been precedents in Australia and Israel. I can think of other countries where this is forbidden and considered immoral. For example, France, Germany, Canada. In Britain, it is only allowed if you have the written consent of the donor. Here's the consent. There, in that paragraph, in the event of my death, he agrees to give his biomaterial to the hospital. Yes, that's right, so you can keep it. Angelica Viktorovna, it's not so clear cut. It is not forbidden in Russia, but it's not allowed either. We have no laws regulating these kind of issues. We, of course, as specialists, can do it, but it is at our own risk. So please do it. Just to make sure we're above board with all this, I have to contact Lilia. That's his ex. Uh, actually, she claims she's not really his ex. There she is. Yes? Oh, you're here? I'll see you right away. Excuse Goodbye. me. You have absolutely no rights to my husband's genitals. You're a nobody. Well, just a hooker who's been hanging out with him a little longer than normal for four and a half years. All right, stop it. A man at 55 needs what? Just a young, sexy body nearby and willing? And preferably behind closed doors. We loved each other. He promised to marry me and wanted to have a child. Thanks to me, he stopped drinking, smoking, and working 48 hours a day. Oh, really? With you, he was like a hunted animal. With me, by the way. He became himself. He raised a son, he built his own business. And it's not for all you, right, sweetheart, All right, all right, please. Let's get a little more constructive, please, ladies. I have his consent for IVF, and I can prove that we've been living as a couple for almost five years. And the fact that he hasn't divorced you doesn't mean anything. Ruslan Avgenievich, who should I give his things to? To me. Look, here's the deal. You sign a waiver of inheritance claims and you take the sperm. Since you loved him so much. Or what? Or without a flat on the moika and without part of the business, you don't need a child anymore? Huh? Well, here you go, exactly what we needed to see. I'll take your share of the estate anyway, as his real wife. Really? Well, I'll see you in court then. See you later. Bye. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I really wanted a second child. And he kept saying, later, later. It's not the time now. Lilia, we still have at least a 12-hour window to collect the sperm. He hasn't slept with me for five years. Nevertheless, before he died, he asked to call you, even though she was here too. Yes, but doctor, I'm 46. Movement, discoordination, and fatigue? Yeah, he stumbles and he drops things. He gets tired quickly. Uh, I checked his shoes. They're more worn on the right side. Are you sure that it's MS? 
It could be, but you have to look at how aggressive and progressive it is. A man in his 50s who's suddenly planning a trip around the world in 80 days. That's fun. Excuse me, Natalia. How's the shoulder? So-so. Thanks, I'm gonna go. They brought in a woman. She's 24 years old, due in 36 weeks. She was in a vegan cult for five years. They only eat roots, fruits, and vegetables. Everything is uncooked. She has severe early toxemia. During the pregnancy, she lost a lot of weight. Hemoglobin is extremely low, 70. Albumin, 45. Anemia? Severe anemia. And she has a dry cough. Total lymphadenopathy. Mm hmm? She has severe stomach pains, too. Fetal condition? Surprisingly, the fetus is perfectly fine. Blood flow in the umbilical artery is good, but there is a growth delay. Her husband's a bit of a nutcase. A leader of the green cult. Mm -hmm. Alexei is obviously gonna need backup. Yeah, he's had enough of inadequate husbands. Hello. I don't get it. Why so many doctors? We should really get going. Your wife is staying with us. <laughs> because of anemia. Ah, uh, you want more money. We actually have free accommodation and treatment under state cover. So then, you'll try to sell something else to us. I know your tricks. Actually, she's feeling pretty good already. Lodochka, let's go. Come on. If you leave now, I will call the police. They will arrest you for leaving her in danger and not providing medical assistance, and they'll check your cult at the same time. Is that what you want? Okay, but she won't be eating at your place. Okay, grab something for me too. Something with blood, please. <laughs> yeah? How is it? Great. That's it. Listen, I suggest you name her Victoria in uh, honor of your Paris victory. Okay, all right. Here, look. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's too funny, it's good you didn't buy her school uniform. <laughs> What do you mean? It's for an older child, for a one-year-old. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Hi. I'll come back later. Uh, no, come in. Don't be afraid. I won't hit you. I just wanted to apologize. I was wrong. I overreacted. It's okay. No, it's all right. Really, I'll come back later. Uh, can we have a vase, please, doctor? A decent doctor? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Or I can, uh... Yeah? May I? About Louis at the Monetarian. It's all confirmed. Pleurisy, gastric ulcers, duodenal ulcers, immune disorder. What if there is something else? Maybe the immune disorder isn't the cause, but the outcome. Even Guinea Elininchia, your desire to get to the bottom of things is very commendable, but not when the essence lies on the surface. Thank you. You've been waiting here for hours for me. Doctor. Let's give it a try. Let's, uh, uh, come into my office. It's open. Hello, Yark. Hi, it's Bazanov. Uh-huh. Yark, can you tell me... Honestly, did, uh, Kolmogorov come for a DNA test the other day? Did he now? Oh, really? <laughs> of, course, of course he did, the old fox. Hemoglobin 70, albumin 45, severe anemia, total lymphadenopathy. But there's something else. I'm sure that the immune disorder is an outcome, not the cause. Ah. What about Bakhmitieva? Bakhmitieva thinks... 
It's about raw food. She says that the patient has ruined everything for herself. Mm, you know, I think that's exactly what's going on. Thank you for your advice. Natash, we need to talk. Between Kolmogorov and you, I had a man. One meaningless random night. Just as random as you and I had. Will you stop pretending that nothing is going on? Can we stop pretending that our night didn't happen? Natash, I understand. We've been friends for 15 years. Yes, I'm your Bazanov. I will always understand. Then you come to my door and tell me that nobody needs you and we cry together. Will you stop lying to yourself? Hey, get your hands off. Or what? Ruslan Evgenievich, can you help with the diagnosis? Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Check her for tuberculosis. Sorry. Let's not do it today, okay? Natalia Vladimirovna. Luda has tuberculosis. What's going to happen to me and the baby now? We're going to induce labor. 37 weeks is a good term. And doing a cesarean with TB is quite risky. 
Do people still die from it? Don't worry. I'll put you and your daughter on a diet. You get broccoli and barley, she gets soy milk. We'll be fine. Tell me, are you saying this nonsense because you're hungry, or are you like this in general? Hey, don't be rude. I'll leave a review about the center and about you personally. Go ahead. I'll be looking forward to your review. I'll be checking social media. All right, Luda. We're packing up. Let's go. Philip. Yeah? I'm not going anywhere from here. From this moment on, I decide where I want to be, what I'll eat, and how I'll live. You're diagnosing my patients? Could you have just talked to me? You could have called me. You could not have done it behind my back to respect the chain of command and not encourage cocky interns. Natalia, it's not always about you. Sometimes it's about your patients. And if your patient has tuberculosis, she needs to be transferred to a special ward. That's why we have an observation center, so we can deal with complicated cases on our own. Not interrupting? Yuri, hello. Not at all. Please settle our dispute. OK. What would you recommend to a patient with tuberculosis? Uh, transfer or give birth here at our favorite hospital. Of course, transfer her. What other options do we have? To induce labor ourselves is not about courage, it's about vanity and stupidity. Okay, I'll prepare the patient for transfer. You'll do the right thing. You realize what you've just done, don't you? Yes, I've done my job. Look, isn't that Moriska's mom? I'm not hallucinating? Excuse me? Get your filthy hands off of me, scum. Definitely not hallucinating. What's wrong with her? I think it's a miscarriage. When they brought her in, she was bleeding. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Uh, my name is Ruslan Bosnov. You should have received a call about me. Paternity test. Yes. Uh, changed my life. <laughs> Just a second. 